Hi, I'm Fran Drescher, and all of us at Cancer Schmanzler are so excited to bring you our Health and Wellness Masterclass, absolutely free. Do you ever wonder why you get sick? What causes cancer? And how you can reduce you and your family's risk? Well, we've put a lot of time, energy, and passion into bringing you the most cutting edge information from amazing doctors who think outside of the box, leaders in health and wellness with a fresh perspective on what we can do for ourselves, options to consider when diagnosed, and new strategies to not only survive, but thrive. I have made improving our health my life's mission because I am a cancer survivor, but it took me two years and eight doctors to get a proper diagnosis. Thank goodness I had a slow growing cancer or my outcome might not have been so good. Now I have turned my pain into purpose, so I'm committed to sharing everything I've learned with you. All the brilliant doctors and scientists I have met over my nearly two decades of survival. That's why I'm bringing you this master class so you won't have to go through what I did. Watching this free health and wellness master class, I hope you will feel more empowered and less helpless and walk away with a game plan. With one in two men and one in three women expected to get cancer, Babies being born pre-polluted with 200 to 300 chemicals found in the umbilical cord and kids predicted to not live as long as their parents for the first time in U.S. history. The time is now to take control of your body. I'm thrilled you're here and I know it will make a difference. Now grab a pen and notepad because we're about to blow your mind. Thank you so much for being a part of our journey of wellness. Now this next dude is kind of, if that was the Sunday with the whipped cream, this is the cherry. <laughs> he is a dentist that is so qualified in other areas, including and especially, uh, you know, microbiome, nutrition, and ha he wrote the book, The uh, Mouth, uh, body connection, mouth, body. We have a microbiome. He talks about a healthy garden in your mouth. The mouth is the gateway to everything. Who's your dentist? Do you even know what toothpaste you're using? If it says, you know, um, don't swallow, call poison control, step away from that toothpaste. If you are putting, you know, root canal in your mouth, don't do it. The teeth are only good when they're alive. They have microscopic holes in them. That's part of the filtration system. When the tooth is dead and they anchor it in, you're asking for infection. He's going to draw the correlation between so many illnesses that have to do with mouth problems, bacteria in the mouth, and gum disease. Well, I saw him on the side there, and he said, you know, don't let Matthew go, because he was talking about pancreatic cancer, and 60% of pancreatic cancer is due to gum disease. They took root canal out of women's mouth, and the breast cancer went away. Stop it. Pay attention. Wake up. Put in something inert if your tooth is dead. And start using oral hygiene as the beginning of your global health. And understand that, you know, everything is part of a much more complex system. Everything matters. Even the teeth in your mouth connect to different meridians in your body. So, now, let me, without further ado, I want to welcome Dr. Jerry Curatola. I made an appointment with him. He's in New York. <laughs> uh, just a genius. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, friend. Uh, 
Also, I just want to say, I forgot to say, go check out that Restore booth over here because that's fanta uh, uh, fantastic for gut. And then uh, he has very generously put this incredible prebiotic toothpaste that he invented in your goodie bag. So do that. Thank you. Uh -huh. Fran gave my whole lecture. Uh, no, I did not. <laughs> that is so good. Uh -huh. <laughs> but... You know, it's, it's great. Fran and I have a lot of things in common, including our roots from Queens. Yay! Although I, uh, I kind of had therapy to lose my Queens accent. Fran did not. <laughs> but, but it's great to be here. I mean, I have uh, so many exciting things uh, to talk about. And really, the mouth-body connection is something that we know so much more now than we did even 10 years ago. And um, I, I have to say, I spend a lot of my time speaking to dentists to get them to become conscious, because many of them practice unconscious. It's a drill them, fill them, bill them thing, you know. And uh, so oral health is the 800-pound gorilla in the room. You have a 67% higher incidence of pancreatic cancer. You have a 10 times, Dr. Pam, 10 times greater chance of having a heart attack or stroke. Uh, colorectal cancer uh, study came out just last week. I'm actually going to show you. I didn't even know we were having to talk about colorectal cancer. That an oral pathogen, an oral pathogen is responsible. So one of the things we know, and as Dr. Zach shared, is that we've redefined our humanity in the last 20 years. The Human Microbiome Project um, actually redefined what it means to be human. You know, we thought we were made from dust, you know, in the scripture of dust and God breathed the spirit. It's actually microbes because the ancient Hebrew text says God took from the slime of the earth, slime, the earth was covered with a bacterial slime three billion years ago. And he took from the slime of the earth is what the Hebrew text says and breathed his spirit into it and we became mind, body, spirit. Um, so one of the things we know that everything we've been doing is wrong. I just want to go back. Everything we've been doing is wrong. It was Listerine, kill germs on contact, Colgate Total, kill germs 24 hours a day uh, with a chemical called triclosan, which is the cousin of glyphosate. Turns to dioxin stream beds and it kills algae and fish. The FDA finally banned it in everything but what you stick in your mouth. <clears throat> it's still in your toothpaste. So we've been poisoning ourselves and the world with what we even brush our teeth with, which is pretty extraordinary. But let me give you the good news. And as Dr. Zach shared, it's funny, we're, we were back to back here. We went from the colon to the gut to the mouth. And uh, so here we are, everything um, that we know now about the bacteria in our mouth, they keep us alive. In the, be in the, in the body, uh, you know, our bacteria strengthen our immune system, aid in digestion, produce vitamins, protect from pathogens. In the mouth, they actually take minerals from saliva and mineralize your teeth. It happens all the time. You do not need fluoride. And I'll give you a little bit about that. Hi, isn't this great? I'm enjoying it and I can't wait to go back and watch more. But I just wanted to take a moment to tell you that you can purchase all of these wonderful speakers as a downloadable purchase that, by the way, is a tax-deductible donation to Cancer Schmancer. You can have all these wonderful speakers at your fingertips whenever you want for reference or share it with your friends and family. So if you click below, you can make a downloadable purchase, tax deductible for Cancer Schmancer donation, and enjoy it whenever you want. Thank you so much for subscribing, and now let's get back to more wonderful, illuminating speakers. So does the bacteria in your mouth cause cancer? Yeah, when, the, when it's a pathogen, by the way, there's no such thing as good bacteria, bad bacteria. Everybody know that? There's just bacteria. We went from the germ theory of thinking that all bacteria are bad to the good cop, bad cop, probiotic theory 
that there's good bacteria and bad bacteria. So let's, let's try to put more good bacteria on the bacteria of all of you sitting here right now is as unique as your thumbprint. And I want to tell you that the bacteria in your mouth are equally as unique as your thumbprint. We have similarities and commonalities and differences. So the oral, this is just last week with Dr. Zuri, Dr. Zuri, oral pathogen, oral pathogen. The oral microbiota in colorectal cancer is distinctive and predictive. So yeah, what's going on in the mouth has profound effects for the rest of the body. The father of the mouth body, can I, anybody heard of Western Price? Um, Western Price is the Charles Darwin of nutrition. He found that the more indigenous populations that had less civilized diets had far less, not only far less healthy mouths, but their subsequent generations were far healthier with less genetic defects. We damage our genes, we can repair our genes. And so, 12 facts you can't ignore, some of them I talked about, Alzheimer's disease, bacteria, oral pathogens, obstructive, street, obstructive street, uh, sleep apnea, it's hard, that's a tongue twister, but obstructive sleep apnea is a serious issue that went truly ignored for years and years. Diabetes, big one, uh, huge correlation between, there's a seven times greater chance of developing adult onset diabetes, type two diabetes with gum disease, with an unhealthy mouth. You could take pictures of this and the, uh, and, and the next two. Heart disease I spoke about, cancers. We're not just talking colorectal and pancreatic, but we're talking breast, lung cancer. Um, organ damage, basically disease in the mouth. Time Magazine in 2004 had a cover that said the silent killers within us. And here's the bottom line. Gum disease, which is epidemic in this country, gum disease is the body's number one source of chronic low-grade inflammation. That's inflammation's a normal process. Chronic low-grade is like a silent alarm bell that goes off that's not being answered because gum disease doesn't hurt. You know, I have patients who come to me and they go, yeah, my gums bleed when I brush. Uh, you know, but I, I guess I'm brushing too hard. And I tell them, if you're brushing your hair and your scalp is bleeding, do you think you're brushing too hard? No, that's inflammation. So I wrote a book uh, to kind of get this message out there. And it, it, it really talks about the mouth is a mirror for what's going on in the body and also a gateway. There's so many diseases that 86% of disease has manifestations in your mouth. Let's talk about toxicities really quickly. This is one that I'm very embarrassed about as a dentist. And I'm ashamed that 46% of dentists in this country still put mercury fillings that silver filling, that silver colored filling is 52% mercury. And you want to know what the symptoms of mercury poisoning and Alzheimer's disease? There's no difference. There's no difference. But one of the things we know is, and this is a study from Germany, is that inorganic mercury is constantly off-gassing from eating your lunch here, to drinking hot liquids, to grinding your teeth or clenching, or any of these other things, there's a constant release of mercury. Now, our bodies have the ability to chelate heavy metals. Most of us, unless you have a genetic deficiency, where you can't chelate. These are the people we see get MS and all kinds of problems. But I will tell you, something like one in six now, seniors, get Alzheimer's. We have a lot of toxicity out there. The most important thing about this, I went on to Dr. Oz and spoke about this, and the American Dental Association sent a memo out to all the ADA members of which I'm a member, saying, oh, if you saw the, uh, if you saw the Dr. Oz piece, you know, here's what you should tell your patients. I have mercury, I have amalgam fillings in my mouth. That was one of the lines. I have amalgam fillings in my mouth, and they're perfectly safe. I do not believe they're safe. I do not subscribe to that. I can have my license taken away for telling people to get mercury fillings out because I believe they're toxic. Yes. So I basically show them the facts and let them make a decision. 
Here is the most important thing to take away about dental mercury. Do not run to your dentist and get it taken out unless it's, unless it's taken out safely. There's more mercury exposure from the removal. When you stick a drill and a mercury filling in a tooth, it lets a, clox, a toxic cloud of clear, odorless, tasteless mercury vapor. And you can measure it. We have devices that can measure it. So we use a protocol in my office called SMART. As a matter of fact, we were the first SMART certified in New York City in Manhattan. Um, and it is safe mercury amalgam removal technique. We can do some very nice restorative fillings. There was a big move to have the silver fillings out and, oh, put some pretty tooth-colored fillings. Well, plastic fillings prior to about, if you had plastic fillings in your mouth prior to 10 years ago, they're loaded with bisphenols, which are estrogenic, raising estrogen levels, which, by the way, Dr. Gale, I know you're here. Uh, we know that gum disease gives women a 700% higher incidence of pregnancy complications, including premature low-weight babies, preeclampsia, things like that. And there are OBGYNs telling pregnant women, oh, don't get any dental work done. What about periodontal maintenance, maintaining the health of your gums? So we know that pregnancy gingivitis happens when you're pregnant, and it is a serious issue. They use an old wives' tale that, oh, the baby robs the mother's calcium. That's why women lose teeth after childbearing years. No, it's called periodontal disease. So how does this happen, this inflammatory progression? How do we go from just a reversible inflammation, which is gingivitis, to this advanced periodontitis? How do we go to lose this balance or this homeostasis? It's because everything we've been doing is wrong. We've been using um, basically a scorched earth policy, as doc, Dr. Zach said. So here's um, Dr. Zach's favorite product, Roundup. And, um, and what we really want to use is organic compost. The problem is even the natural toothpaste are not organic compost. They're filled with xylitol, and we went from using triclosan to using tea tree oil and tulsi oil and peppermint oil and all these things to nuke bacteria in the mouth. Those bacteria paid a high evolutionary price to be there. I believe we're made of those bacteria. We know that they run us. We do not run them. So we need to make peace with our microbes. This is the problem in oral care. You know, we have a poison warning on toothpaste, gum disease is epidemic, and nobody gets it. And we have all of these things on the left here are all harmful. Oh, wait a minute, cinnamon oil. Yeah, cinnamon is antimicrobial. There's a product called Thieves, it's an essential oil, and it's really good. Yeah, it's great for purifying, uh, you know, viruses and bacteria outside the body, but your mouth protects you from deadly viruses and pathogens in the air around us. And we've been trying to nuke it. So all of these products are like killing a coral reef protecting an island. And our leading brand, the toothpaste brand, what I really get a kick out of is how this has the ADA accepted seal filled with fluoride and triclosan. And this came out, this was Fox News and... Uh, um, um, Daily Mirror, I think this woman wrote this in the Daily Mirror, but triclosan, we know, is a carcinogen. It's a pesticide. The FDA banned it in the 60s and 70s, and then Colgate, uh, who paid for the research, uh, used FDA, uh, used company-backed evidence to reapprove it back in 1997. This put me over the edge. When they launched this, it was so insidious, and they knew it was harmful. They paid for a lot of the microbiome research. I'm so glad that we're watching the Fran Drescher Masterclass Health Summit together. Thank you so much for subscribing. Isn't it great? I can't wait to go back and watch more. But I just wanted to tell you that on October 23rd, we are going to be doing the Fran Drescher Masterclass Health Summit 2018 and it's going to be more exciting and better than ever you can click below or go to cancerschmancer.org and get your tickets 
or watch us live streaming for free on October 23rd. But if you come in person, you'll get to meet me and some of these wonderful doctors that I promised you will rock your world. Fluoride. Fluoride was going to be the panacea of all dental decay. We now have an epidemic of cavities in this country. You have children, you have grandchildren, and you yourselves are experiencing epidemic rates of decay. There is also, in addition, we have damaged and harmed our, our teeth and bones in a way where 58% of children right now have fluorosis damage. 50, it was 41% in 2006. This summer, Boston University, 58%. And we know 57 studies on the neurologic damage of fluoride, 50 studies on fluoride lowering IQ in children. Harvard University did a meta-analysis of these studies and confirmed Drinking fluoridated water lowers IQ in children. And we're getting fluoride from everything. In toothpaste, not just drinking water alone, but how about the food prepared in restaurants? Now we have the sugar alcohols, which is the new methadone, I like to say, of the sugar industry. So just as heroin has methadone, uh, sugar has aspartame, saccharin, and now xylitol and erythritol. And they're calling it natural. Well, it's actually a chemical. It's a chemical made by a, an industrial process. And that led me to this. And no, I didn't get the orangutan to brush with this. <laughs> but in your bag, I, I gave everybody um, something I developed 20 years ago. It's so natural you can eat it. But it's designed as a prebiotic to rebalance the natural bacteria in the mouth because when you do that, um, amazing things happen. We had just in a very, um, our initial study sort of blew us away. It was seven days and we had a greater reduction in gum inflammation than a lot of the others like Colgate Total, which was 12 weeks. And then we did a second study and basically we saw great things. So I want to thank you. Um, for this time, and I encourage you to be empower yourselves. Do your be your own doctor. Okay, I, I I like to think that I partner with my patients. And Fran, thank you so much. Oh, thank so, you, so much Dr. Caratola. Isn't that interesting? It's just so fantastic. Um, with, what about spirochetes? Because that's a big concern yeah. of mine. That happens when your mouth goes out of balance. It creates a fertile soil for really bad pathogens, what I say badass pathogens, like spirochetes, fusobacterium, and others to set up shop. Spirochetes are really invasive, and they, f they find them in the brain of people with Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. It lodges in the hips. It's very hard to get rid of them. We've actually found Lyme spirochetes in the mouth. One of the things I didn't cover here was talking about root canals, which are a major topic. I mentioned that when I was in um, You should get a cone beam of your mouth if you've had root canals, and you should look for cavitations. But there are so many serious pathogens that can harbor in these jaw cavities mm. that surround root canals. Wow. And what about, you know, this like, uh, they all want to take x-rays of your mouth. You say nothing's yeah. bothering you. I mean, I kind of think that X-rays for me in my practice now are, are on the wane because the, the reality is, is that they're two-dimensional. They don't really, you can't even see decay under fluoridated teeth with a dental X-ray. I use an infrared device called a carry view mm. and it transilluminates the tooth with no radiation and I could see that. And I use a cone beam to look at the health of the jaw three-dimensionally mm -hmm. where we could see all kinds of things that were never evident on a dental x-ray. Well, I'm going to see you in November because I made an appointment. <laughs> with pleasure. And uh, I'm just so grateful to have you. So let's uh, give a round of applause to Dr. Curatola. And by the way, I just want to say that all of the booths that are here deserve your attention at some point before this day is through. 
go and look at them and learn what they are offering you because they're all, um, you know, kind of like on the same uh, uh, philosophy of the Cancer Schmanza mission. And thank you so, so much. You. You're wonderful. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Hi, it's me, your host, Fran Drescher. Thank you so much for watching. Wasn't that great? Now you have some tools to stay healthy and prevent disease, as well as fresh options to consider if, God forbid, you are sick. Cancer Schmancer's mission is to educate you and your loved ones on how to transform from patient into medical consumer. If you enjoyed this, if you learned something, if you want to know more, then please make sure you watch Fran Drescher's Health and Wellness Masterclass 2018, live streaming free on October 23rd at cancerschmanza.org. Please help us get this life-changing information out to as many people as possible so together we can all move into a healthier world. Share this with your friends and family. It's 100% free, so there's no downside. Remember, each one teach one. Please visit cancerschmanza.org to learn about our life-saving programs like Fran Vans offering low-income women free mammograms and Be the Change program targeting teens and tweens on staying healthy by checking labels, choosing safer products, and becoming the change the 21st century desperately needs. So happy that we had this time together and so grateful for your helping to spread the word so we can empower more people like yourself to crack the code on sickness. I love you. My prayers are for you to be well and have love and peace in your hearts.